Hey guys, uh, today I just wanted to uh, review Harbor Freight's cordless impact. It's honestly one of the best tools I've ever used, especially one that is from Harbor Freight. You know, I didn't have too big of an expectation for it, being that it's only $120 minus 20%. You can get a 20% discount coupon online. And so, uh, and on top of that, I got a one year warranty with it, which was only about $10 extra. So, uh, Here's a tool right here. Now I've owned this for about five, six months now and uh, I've used it pretty much every single day professionally for the last three months. Uh, so you can see there's a lot of wear in it right now, but honestly, uh, one of the best tools that I think is uh, rated for 300 foot pounds of torque, it can get about 90% of all lug nuts I've thrown at it off. So lug nuts are torqued anywhere from 80 to 100, 100 foot pounds. Now, there's going to be some people that torque it more than that, you're not supposed to, but uh, some people will just take uh, one of those really powerful impacts and just go away with it. And then, uh, and so if you take a, if you try to take off one of those with this, I mean, it's not going to work, but I'll show you here on one of my cars um, on how well it works. But I just want to talk to you a little bit about this tool. It's a Chicago um, Electric Coreless Impact. It takes an 18-volt battery. Uh, pretty light. It's not too heavy. Um, again, 300 foot-pounds of torque. It puts out, they have a corded one, but I actually ended up not using that at all. It only has about 220 foot-pounds of torque for the corded one. So, uh, believe it or not, this cordless one actually has a lot more power. The corded one from Harbor Freight actually won't take off pretty much any lug nut. So, this, if you're going to get an impact wrench from Harbor Freight, this is the one to get. All right, I'm just going to demonstrate um, how this works when taking lug nuts off because obviously if you have a cordless impact, what you're going to do, use it for the most, probably 90-95% of the time is to take off lug nuts. Um, you know, with the impact like this, it's kind of bulky, so it's hard to use it for anything else. I mean, you'll use it for suspension components and things like that. So I just wanted to show you the, uh, the nut busting torque on the Chicago Electric. Uh, impact. So what, I, what I've done, this is my uh, BMW Z4 here. I torque these lug nuts with a torque wrench um, uh, different specs. So I torque this one 80 foot pounds. I torque this one right here 100 foot pounds. This one at 120 and this one at 140. Now no lug nut is going to be torqued to 140 foot pounds I and mean, it shouldn't be. Uh, again, unless you work after someone that's been careless and just goes away with it with an impact wrench. Uh, but that's another good thing about this as well. When you tighten it up, it doesn't have too much torque tightening, so you can't really over torque lug nuts carelessly. Um, obviously, um, if you want to over torque it, you can by just going away on it. But uh, you know, it, it's hard to. So let's try this 80 foot pound uh, lug nut first. Alright, so it came off pretty easy. Try the next one. This is torqued at 100 foot pounds. Uh, I just tightened it. Came off pretty easy. So before I was uh, <laughs> tightening it, not uh, loosening it. So uh, this one right here is at 120. Took off 120 very well. So this one right here is at 140. So it can't take off 140, but as you can see, it takes a little bit to do. Now, this one's pretty tight too. I think this one's at 140 as well. So that one came off pretty easy. I'm not going to take everything off. So, as you can see, um, took off everything from 80 foot-pounds to 140 foot-pounds. Um, like I said, there are some cars that I just couldn't get this off with uh, using this tool. And it must have been over 140 foot-pounds of torque, which is just not necessary so if you're if you do a lot of cars if you work on cars you don't even have to work on it all the time if you do it 
uh, even occasionally, this thing right here will save you a lot of time. Also, you'll save a lot of money getting this tool. So uh, I just want to share that with you. If you haven't checked that out, definitely check it out at Harbor Freight. I've actually just recently upgraded from this gun to you know the industry's top model, uh, which puts out 700 foot pounds of torque and 1,100 foot pounds of torque, nut busting torque. So um, you know I am actually retiring this tool, but I'm actually second guessing. I might just hold on to it because, like I said, you can't over, you can't really over tighten lug nuts with this. It's hard to with my uh, new Milwaukee. Um, one that puts out 700 foot pounds of torque, even if I, you know, zap like that, it'll over torque the lug nuts. But this one, as long as I don't hold it down, you know, it just, uh, I can still use a torque wrench at the end to tighten it up. So that's my review of this tool, the Chicago Electric 18 volt um, cordless impact wrench. Don't make the same mistake I did and get the corded one. That thing is useless. I've actually sold that for $20 on Craig, Craig, Craigslist. Um, uh, if you are going to get a cordless impact, get this one. It also has an LED. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, this is useful. It's pretty bright. I just wish that uh, you know, it stayed on a little bit after, uh, after you release the trigger. So, uh, if you have any questions, just leave some comments below and I'll answer it for you. Uh, if not, thanks for watching.